Hey guys, this is going to be another quick Linux command video. Check the link in the description for more info and for copy and paste examples. All right, the Linux command less allows you to page through a text file. Now this is similar to the more command, but it's, it has uh, more features and it's better and it's improved and this is the command you should use instead. Now it also has some advantages over tools like VI or Vim in that it won't load the entire thing into memory at once, so it doesn't have to read the whole file in one sh shot, so it's more efficient for really huge files like big log files that might be multiple gigs in size. So, um, yeah, so I actually already recorded a video on this command that was way too long and included all the obscure options and commands that you don't need to know. Um, so go back and check that video if you want a ton of detail, but this video is going to be the quick bit quick video just for people who are trying to learn Linux commands. So this is going to be the quick, um, shorter version that just shows you the normal stuff that you'd normally, you would normally use for the less command. So in any case, I'm going to show you the day-to-day -day stuff and how the less command works. So basically, you're, you're normally going to use this to view log files. You might use it for other things, and um, you, you can also use it for piped output. So say less on a log file, say var log d package, and you can page through it. If you type enter, you're going to move one line down. If you type space, you're going to move a whole page down. <clears throat> you can type b to go back a page, and you can actually use your arrow keys to go down and up a single line at a time. So that... <clears throat> That's all the normal stuff you need to navigate around in less. And what what else can you do? Um, you can also search. Oh yeah, also G to go to the first line, and Shift G or capital G to go to the bottom. And you can type a line number like line five G to jump to line five if you like. Now you can search by typing slash in a pattern like say update or upgrade. You can type upgrade and search for upgrade. Now type N to, to, to jump to the next version, next one found. And N again to type to jump to the next uh, the next match. And N again, or you can type Shift N or a capital N to go backwards to jump to the previous match. Right. So that's how searching works. And what what else here? If you want to do a negative pattern, do slash and say exclamation mark upgrade and that's going to give you a non-match so anything that's not that and you can and um let's see you can also <clears throat> um you can also put use a uh, ampersand here and it's going to automatically give you a slash and type of pattern like say upgrade and that's going to only show you those lines that match the pattern and uh, let's see put out of here. Now you can also say ps-ef, pipe the output to less. So you can pipe any output you want to less in the page through it if you have a ton of output. So get all your processes here and just page right through them. And that is about it. That's everything. That's all the basics of using less. So that that's everything you need to know just for normal usage. That's, that's as much as most people normally learn about less. That gives you all the practical stuff you really need to know. Now, if you uh, yeah, if you want to learn a whole lot more about less and stuff, you probably never really need to know a lot more niche stuff and get into more detail. You know, check out my other video. I'm gonna to try to link to it in the description below. But uh, yeah, check check that video out. I made like a a really long video on this command that you you might also be interested in. But this is the practical version. Remember, check the links in the description for more info. Hit the subscribe button for more useful content like this. We also have a ton of other more interesting content covering things like coding, hardware, software, servers, Raspberry Pis, 3D printing, and a whole lot more. Hopefully you found this useful. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on that next video.